Occasionally, you might find yourself in situations where you need to extract a 2D point track from a 3D null that is 3D tracked into your scene. Here, I have an example from a recent tutorial on my channel that covers hologram effects, and I need to track this lens flare to the watch. The built-in lens flare effect in After Effects is a 2D effect, which contains only the X and Y coordinates, so we wouldn't be able to link the flare center value to the 3D null's position, since it also contains the Z coordinate. So, we'll create a new null object, drop down the position, and alt click on the stopwatch so that we can write a simple expression. First, parent the position to the 3D null. This is just to reference or identify the 3D null layer. Then type in dot two comp with a capital C, open parentheses, open square bracket, zero comma zero comma zero. And right away, you can notice that the 2D null jumped to the 3D null's position. Now we can alt click on the flare center and parent that to the position of the 2D null. However, it's not quite in the exact spot we want it to be. And if we try to move it around, we'll find that we're not able to since the position position of this 2D null is locked to the position of the 3D null. So we'll add two slider controllers to our 2D null, call one of them X and the other Y. And remember, these three values are the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So we'll parent the X value to the X slider and the Y value to the Y slider. And this way, the 2D null still follows the 3D null's position, but on top of that, we can also modify the position of our 2D null. So let's put it in the right spot. And after a quick preview, we can see that it is indeed following along. This is just a workaround for when you need to extract a simple 2D point from a 3D tracked point, but do keep in mind that this doesn't take into account scale and rotation, so if you need those, then you might have to do some manual animation or just turn your lens flare layer into 3D so you can properly 3D track it instead.